Japanese invasion has a population of over a million inhabitants living on a fertile strip of land not more than 90 miles long and 45 miles wide. According to history, about 500 years ago, tribes of religious refugees from India invaded Bali, intermarried with the natives, and ultimately brought about all that is known today as Balinese. The chief occupation of the people is in cultivating the rice paddies, for which this island paradise is famous. When the rice is ready to harvest, the whole village joins in the reaping, each person being entitled to a third of the amount he gathers. It is a remarkable fact that the little island not only grows enough rice to feed its own population, but also exports large quantities to foreign ports. In keeping with the oriental custom, the women do most of the work. But in this island paradise, enough food can be produced in four months to satisfy the wants of the natives for the whole year. The women of Bali are noted for their erect carriage and splendid poise. From early childhood, they carry heavy loads upon their heads, developing strong and upright figures. The native homes are usually built in compounds, which include several families. An interesting feature of these compounds is the fact that domestic controversies are dealt with at special meetings always held at midnight in moonlight. The favorite food of the Balinese is suckling pig, cooked with spices and eaten with hot sauces. These strange looking hogs are typically Balinese. They are fed upon banana leaves, coconuts, rice, and all the other foods that nature so bountifully bestows upon them. The marketplaces of Bali are particularly picturesque. Women assemble here to do their shopping with money that ranges in value as low as one-twelfth of an American cent. And all the necessities that the average household does not produce may be purchased here at bargain prices. 